Well, so hello everyone, and that's Omax, and today I want to show you how we can make a cinematic scene with 3S Max and the Cry Engine. Well, so just download template file, I post link in the description. Here you are. Just like the last tutorial, we have to modify the file max rig dot max. Well, so don't forget to copy the game SDK for the contents and pass in main CryEngine root. Overwrite tool. We have just the two new folders, but we're looking for max rig folder. maxrig.max Well, let's see. Open 3ES Max. Three D S Max. Okay, here we are. Um, so well, open file Max Rig dot Max. Inside the folder stream, stream maps, canon, and under Max Rig, open Max Rig, Max. That's my skeleton. That's my 3ds Max file template. Come to modify. Well, so before let's modify another file. Follow me. Open Explorer. Under Game SDK. Animation, human, male, and we have to, de to edit this file, this one. Events dot enemy bean, events. We have to modify this file. I'll open it. You can use uh, not a policy plus plus. Not a pad plus plus. We have to add two new calf animation into the full database that uses DK player. Follow me. So it's a strongly recommended uh, see me video about how realize a character from 3ds Max to Cry Engine. Strongly. So now I have some motion capture file. 3ds Max BIP file. You can download it in the web. Select a part. Uh, se select one. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, so this one, for example. Ooh. I like this one. I need uh, a kick. In this case, a jump kick. Go into plugin and export bones. Export bones and um, 
ok and export bones choose this part animation human male behavior ok behavior and let's see to create and let's see to create a new folder name it my animation under male behavior well name it the kick jump dot cut of course Well, we have to rename this file. Rename in cat file. Okay, inside my animation. Now, so edit the events uh, dot enemy events file in this way we want to add the kick jump animation calf okay modify this file modify the part copy paste let's see name Kick jump dot curve. Okay. In this way. Save. Now let's open Cry Engine. ok open character editor and let's open my heroina Isabella do you remember? well so I work on it Well, now kick. Eh, here we are. Kick jump. Let's work fine. Up. Okay. Work fine. So now, let's see another calf animation. In this template, you can realize many calf animation. For example, come to uh, load another file. Bip. Come to load. Come to load. Well, so export bones. Uh, select uh, a part of skeleton and uh, load motion capture file, bip file, 3ds file, bip and come choose uh, <laughs> this one for example so let's see another one another one uh, come in uh, 
Lord, this one. So I don't like it at all. <laughs> Welcome to Lord, another one. Uh, yes, uh, let's dance. I like it at all. Dance, 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 dance. Wow! This one, okay. For example. Select the skin and in the plugin Crytek export bones set the frame we can choose okay and export bones Name it um, Dance Isabella dot calf. Okay. Okay. We have another we have another calf animation. Uh, we have to add uh, now uh, another row. Well come to edit uh, our file. Oops. Reopen it. Human male and Bavahai. Okay. In male. And now add a new row, just copy and paste a block in the tag animation. Just copy and paste a block in the tag animation. Copy, OK, and paste. Now we have uh, to modify the parts in my animation. Dance, dance, Isabella dot cut. OK. We have to modify only this part. Well, so, and that's all. Save. Reload all scripts. Open character editor. And load my heroine Isabella. Here we are, Isabella. Now, let's see. Dance, Isabella. Okay. Dance, Isabella. Woo, 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 woo. Nah, let's work fine. Okay, save. <laughs> are you a shower girl? <laughs> Isa, Isa, Isa. Aiza, are you a sugar? A sugar. Yeah. Now, I open my last file. You can open whatever you want. Forest, for example. But I open my latest file, my latest tutorial. We have to choose a place. We have to choose a place. Please, please, this one. Okay, I like this one. Entity, physics, any more object. Okay, place it here. And now come in my hero in Isabella folder and lower it and loader. Okay, now follow me. 
Now follow me. Come to open track view. Okay. Add the sequence. Uh, and add my model at sequence. Select heroin and click plus. Okay. Right click and add animation track. Add the animation track. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> pop up the volume, pop up the volume, pop up the volume. Okay, but uh, we need uh, another cut animation. The cut about uh, the kick, the jump kick. Just make a copy of my heroine and change model. Okay. Well, we can choose, for example, humanoid uh, inside folder humanoid CDF. Oh, okay, this one. I choose humanoid. Okay. And that animation track. That animation track in the track view. Okay. All right, so let's modify the animation. Double click on keyframe and choose my kick in the list. Okay, we can see I just ah, Isabella. Okay, now just we have to edit the scene. Okay. Oh, ah. Okay. Now select my humanoid, and let's modify the animation track inside the track view. Insert a keyframe animation for humanoid and let's choose alert. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, let's try this one. Let's try this one. I think you can have animation. I just looking for one uh, that work fine to me. Well, so, okay, okay. <laughs> mm. Well, I think. Uh, have to move uh, Isabella. Oh, pa. Okay. 
Okay. Just load another cap formation at this point. Fall. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's work. Let's work. We need to modify Let's insert a couple, a couple, okay frame for humanoid. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. Yes, just modify arena. I want my actor to leave my scene in the sequence, of course. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. the keyframe and push it up okay okay I like it so I think that's all fine I think so but I don't know okay Oh, I like it. Of course, this is only uh, an example. Well, so come to create a camera. Okay, select it and add in my track view. switch it in camera one and let's create director camera well so I like huh. 
let's add a director camera node create a frame on my director camera and set my camera camera one okay okay Now we can set our animation. If you want to start with the game, you can use the option how to start. Uh, set forth. Yes, forth. A little an animation. Okay, let's see. Now, come in default camera. When I start the game, I start my sequence. Okay, let's work fine. My animation starts with the game. Well, uncheck how to start. And let's create now a proximity trigger. Let's choose uh, place. Let's choose. Where are you? Where are you? Well, let's see uh, how it works with trigger. With trigger. Well, so okay, I got it. Okay, here. Okay, okay. I choose a, a point like like this. I choose a point like this. Entity. trigger and choose proximity trigger translate event scene ok and add the proximity trigger Now right click on it and uh, let's uh, create a new flow graph. Okay? New flow graph. Isabella scene. Until one, okay. Well, I uh, add the, the proxy. Let's uh, see play a C uh, okay play sequence. Now connect and choose my sequence. That's all. That's all. Let's let's see. Start the game enter a metric and start my animation work fine everything work fine so
Well, so now come to my YouTube channel and leave like, like, like. That's all. See you. Take care.